I am Major Kevin Brewer, pilot, United States Air Force. The Air Force has multiple airplanes to go out and fly. The C-130s do search and rescue, also known as CSAR. We do in-flight refueling of helicopter CV-22s. Uh, we take gas from KC-10s, KC-135s. We can also resupply troops via airdrops, uh, heavy equipment, vehicles, and uh, also we can land in short fields, austere uh, dirt strips, and uh, take people in and out. And the C-130, you can get down in the weeds, you can see everything you're flying over, and you get to enjoy that rush, the feeling of being close to the ground and, and really flying that airplane. For training, the student actually will get more training on the ground, and that's one-on-one that's -on -one with the instructor. So as we mission plan, We'll go through and we'll look at all the topographical charts and we'll talk about the events and we break those down into separate training uh, cases for the students and work through the expectations and the timing so the student gets it on the ground and they're not surprised in flight. As an aircraft commander, um, you not only have to plan for the mission, you have to plan for all the places you're going. So you get a tasking order that uh, comes down from headquarters, whether it be just a regular mission or if it's a, a spur of the moment rescue. And that tasking order tells you where you're going, when you gotta be there, how many people, you know, vehicles, and all those things, because you have to have the entire plan to load out that aircraft or make it to your destination. I've gotten to fly uh, multiple sorties all around the world. I've seen Africa, Europe, Asia. If you want to be a pilot in the Air Force, then you should go for your dream and come join me.